Hi, I'm Casey, and this is my channel, and this is Mask Monday. And I am using the Sinage Saffron Energizing Vitamin Mask. This came from my Kinder Beauty Box, and it is cruelty-free and paraben-free and botanical ingredients, non-homogenic cruelty free made in the USA. So it says, um, hello, beautiful rinse, rub, slather, enjoy, and repeat. Leave on for 10 minutes, rinse and follow with a moisturizer. So I know that I have used this before. I don't actually remember how I felt about it. So, um, I thought it's easier to use this kind of mask when I'm going to be talking to you a lot. Um, instead of the sheet masks that, you know, bubble up and down. And these masks out of the tubes and jars are the ones that I find myself reaching for the least when I'm just doing masks at home because the sheet masks are just so easy and I like them. So, yeah, I feel like on these Mask Mondays I should definitely try to get through some of these jars that I'm using. Then I always wonder what I'm going to talk to you about um, and I do have like some empties and reviews that I could do and I still have like the 10 things that would be hard to live without or your 10, you know, like dislikes and favorite things. But what I decided I wanted to talk about was skin needling because I'm hoping that I have more people maybe watch these Mask Monday videos coming from other people doing them. And I'd like to talk about this with as many people as I can. Um, so yeah. Um, so skin needling, which is also called like dermal rolling or sometimes like collagen rejuvenation therapy, um, can be a great thing that you would do for your skin. It can also, if it's done not correctly or too often, it can be way more damaging to your skin and actually produce the opposite effect <laughs> um, and will create stuff that actually goes in and kind of dissolves your extra collagen. Um, and so, I actually took notes on what I wanted to talk to you about. So if you do it correctly, it can help with acne scarring, skin texture, can trigger collagen and elastin production. It can improve stretch marks if you're using a longer enough needle, not one that you'd actually want to use on your face. Um, and it helps boost serums to go deeper into your skin. If it's done, not correctly or too often. It can cause scarring. It can promote the destruction of collagen. It can cause hyperpigmentation, which is the darkening of skin tissue. I recently was watching a video where on YouTube where a person doing an unboxing talked about one product that was good for hyperpigmentation and she said she didn't have that. And then like two products later, she said, this product says it's good for like dark spots and I've got a few of those and I was thinking that girl just doesn't know what hyperpigmentation is because it's the same thing. Um, okay. So anyway, and you never want to roll over keloid scars, um, or roll if you are prone to getting keloid scarring. Um, you also don't want to roll over moles or warts or any kind of open wounds or any active acne. Um, you never want to use a needle that is higher than like a 0.5, um, unless you've, you know, went into like, uh, and getting it done by a professional. Um, definitely not on your face. Okay. Um, <laughs> these are, you know, of course my opinions. Um, if you want to take the chance on it, Go ahead but I really feel like I've seen I think it's the test tube beauty um, 
a month or so ago, there was a home roller in it. And then I feel like I've seen it recently in something else too. And I just, every time I see them in a like subscription box or something like that, it just makes me feel like people are going to try this and not know what they're doing at all. And then end up with really sensitive skin or with, um, like problems with their transepidermal water loss um and they're going to end up looking like red and blotchy and and they're gonna wonder why like they're gonna think it's some other you know product or you know something so anyway i wanted to have a talk about it so um the part about not doing it too often. I really think that every three to four weeks is plenty to do it. It's not something you want to do daily or even weekly. Um, I know they do make like nano needle type um, rollers that aren't really thin needles. Um, it's more like of a little plasticky, you know, soft bristle. Um, so if it is something like that and it's just being called like a derma roller, you can do that much more often. Um, the collagen that you're going to be promoting the production of lasts for seven years. So doing it more than like the three to four weeks isn't necessary anyway once you're, you know, stimulating that collagen. Um, after your treatment, my cat's going to join me. Um, you probably will have redness and tenderness and swelling and dryness um, and possibly some bruising or bleeding um, and even hives. But if you get into hives, you probably have done something wrong and you're going to want to probably check with your doctor because while the bruising and bleeding will eventually heal and go away, the hives might be more of a problem that you're going to need to have looked at. Um, after you do a treatment. You are also going to not want to wear makeup for at least 24, maybe even 48 hours, depending on how much you have rolled. Um, you don't want to feel, fill those holes that you just created with anything that will block your pores or create bac bacteria. My cat, I think she got a little of my mask on her tail too. I'm sorry if you're finding this boring because you were never going to home roll anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I always, I, I just get so scared when I see those needles coming in subscription boxes and think people are going to try them out and not know what they're doing. So anyway, you also want to avoid using anything with alcohol in it. Um, I did see somebody who just, you know, because you do want to keep that roller that you're using clean, um, she just kept, even during the treatment, dipping her roller back into the alcohol and then rolling it on her face. You definitely want to start with a clean roller and dipping it, soaking it, placing it in alcohol, rubbing alcohol is great, but then you want to give that enough time that that evaporates off of it. You don't want it to still be liquid when you're rolling that into your skin. Um, because it will seriously dry out your skin. Um, one reason that you do the rolling is to let products go deeper into your skin. Um, so yeah, don't use anything that's going to be drying. You also, um, won't want to use anything like um, glycolic acids or fruit acids or salicylic acids, um, any, yeah, alpha hydroxy acids after you have rolled. You can do it like right before you roll if you want to, but um, not after you've opened up the little channels. Um, those things are just, they're, they're surface products. You don't want them to go deeper into your skin. Um, and for at least three days, your skin is going to be much more sensitive to sunlight. So you also don't necessarily want to go into this direct sunlight. Um, 
I would also avoid vitamin C and retinols um, for at least two days or products that have heavy fragrances because again, all of those things, um, they do great things, you know, not necessarily fragrance, but the vitamin C and the retinols um, to your skin um, as topical, but you know, it's not something that you actually want to create channels and force into your skin. Um, you do afterwards want to use um, very clean and simple moisturizers. Um, things with the hyaluronic acid in it is wonderful and great. Um, anything with peptides or with other collagen building products are great to put on after skin needling. Um, the needling itself um, does promote natural reproduction of collagen and elastin. It stimulates the body's natural wound healing reaction to produce more natural collagen. It sends signals to the brain that an injury has occurred and then that makes your body produce more collagen and elastin to try to rebuild that tissue. Sorry, I'm still, my cat is in my lap <laughs> and I'm bumping things. Okay. Um, also, you shouldn't derma roll if you're diabetic or on blood thinners or have an autoimmune deficiency disease that makes you heal slower. Um, if you're prone to herpes outbreaks, this can trigger a herpes outbreak. Um, so you'd want to be on like an antiviral first. Um, and if you do have any of those things and you want to try the derma rolling, just definitely check with your doctor first. Um, and yeah, I think that was probably mostly everything. Um, the only other thing that I guess I didn't write down um, is you do want your roller to be clean. If, um, if you're rolling and you're not cleaning your foam roller properly afterwards, you're just going to be re-rolling dirt and bacteria back into your skin. Um, and that's also going to, you know, cause more problems than good if you're rolling too often. Um, it's, you know, going to do more harm than good. And yeah, basically I just really want you guys to be very careful if you decide to try it. And again, I, it is, it is, it's good to do properly. Um, it does stimulate collagen growth. And, you know, after the age of like 35, you lose like 1.5% of collagen every year. So we want to avoid that to have plumper, more youthful looking skin. Um, but just, yeah, do it carefully if you're going to do it. And now I'm going to come back and rinse this off. Okay. Okay. I'm back. And I think my face feels good. Feels clean. It doesn't feel too dried out at all. It feels hydrated. Um, yeah. So I, promise I will try to not make all of my other videos this boring, but I do just feel like it's an important thing that I wanted to get out there. Um, in most states, um, even licensed estheticians can't perform this service. Um, I know in Illinois, the state that I'm licensed in, um, I couldn't do it. Um, I, because I have also my dermal artistry license or tattooing license, um, I can do the service, um, but all the other estheticians that I know actually can't. Um, you have to work at like a med spa or be an RN in order to do it. So that's, it just scares me when then I see them sending out the dermal rollers in home boxes so that anybody can just go to town on their skin. And I did watch a few videos on YouTube of people doing it who just look like they kind of tore their skin up and just went 
over it and over and over it in one spot just a little a little too long so yeah okay feel better <laughs> um thanks for joining me if um you'd like to see more videos that are usually more fun than this one um you can like and subscribe thanks very much